but it's really interesting because I feel like we certainly in the Western world are addicted to doing, 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 doing. We're a fast paced society. And if you're not doing now, this is my story. I would feel guilt because mm. I should, should always be doing. So in the moments of stillness or in the empty space in my calendar, because I'm so used to being busy and doing and achieving and being a little miss perfect, you know, I'm always working on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was actually, it brought up a lot of emotions in the first week of slowing down. Yeah. And I'm sharing this because I'm sure so many of you relate who also are in the, Trisha saying same. Um, so true. I, rem I was actually texting a group chat with my friends and I was like, I'm, I felt anxiety shifting in my body. I felt these emotions come up and I realized, oh my gosh, I'm addicted to doing. And I am being, I felt like the world was forcing me to sit in my chair and slow down. And I was like, I don't want to <laughs> because it was scary because it, it causes you to release addictions, release um, the things that were so automated in doing to slow down and do the, the, the reveal stage and the innovative stage. But so between those stages, I believe there's, there's going to be fear and there's going to be uncomfortable feelings. Like mm -hmm. I am loving slowing down, but I had to acknowledge that there was fear around doing that. Yeah which yeah. is the, I think, acceptance part that we were talking about. Totally. At least that addiction. And I don't think the world can ever really truly be the same because all of us are doing that right now. All of us are experiencing that. And I think for all some of us empaths as well, we're probably also feeling the feelings of the entire world, the collective energy as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So what would you say to somebody who is scared to do the reveal? to do oh. that stage because they haven't actually had the opportunity to sit still with themselves. Ooh, it's so good. I mean, it's so powerful that you bring that up because I mean, you and I both know being on the other side of that, of like the work that it took to just peel yeah. away the layers, because that means that we have to really look truly within ourselves and yeah. say, what does that actually mean that you're achieving and doing it? What does, what does it mean? <sighs> What doesn't it mean? Or what does it really mean when you're not doing those things? Does it mean that you're a failure? You know, does it mean that you're not yeah. good enough? Yeah. Does it mean that you're not worthy, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Does it mean that, um, you know, you are incapable or un incompetent if you just take a moment to stop? And these are the, you know, the basic desires of us as human beings. If we go back into human psychology and, and what I, you know, tend to talk about a lot is, the the bare bones basics is we want to be accepted we want to be loved we want to be appreciated uh we want to be desired and so these are all of the things that you know humans actually want and the things that we don't want are the you know the you know the non-acceptance or the unworthiness or the fact that i'm not enough if i don't do mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but how can we be okay with who we are at our core and still love ourselves in the midst of like, and giving and, and really that self compassion, because that's the key really yeah. here is the exercise of self compassion of when we can go inward and say, this is a moment that I'm going to take to mm -hmm. slow down because the universe is really forcing pretty much all of us to do exactly that. So I can still kind of try to distract by what every single thing on Netflix. I think I read a, a tweet the other day where they're like, you know, I think I'm done with this quarantine because I finished Netflix. I finished I mean, Netflix. I saw that yesterday. Yeah. Like <laughs> I've finished Netflix. Like <laughs> what else? <laughs> but I mean, if you can give yourself the opportunity to say, you know what, I'm not going to do anything. And that is absolutely okay. And really sit with those feelings. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you and I kind of experienced the the, does this really say that you are unworthy if you're not achieving, if you're not trying to write that next book, or if you're not trying to figure out your content strategy for next month or yeah. next week, uh, to just give yourself a moment to, to, to chill. And, uh, you know, we're, we're having this um, incredible experience with our son because mm -hmm. every day in every moment in every experience, he's constantly challenging us to, to just say, all right, let's play. 
Let's yeah. Say, we don't pay attention. If we're not present with him, if we're trying to do, do, do on our phones, he'll start screaming, mm -hmm. um, which he knows now this is a way where he, he'll get attention, but it's, it's kind of bringing us to our core and center of like, oh yeah, we are definitely, we do everything on our devices. And he's at a year and a half, this wise soul of like saying, yep, no mom, no mom, no, no dad. Like, yeah pay attention to me and let's play yeah. and he's constantly like you know doing this like he's figuring out how to do hide and go seek so he's like peeking out and doing like that so we have this little teacher as a mini human saying let's play more and let's let's be present yeah be yeah. yeah and it's really interesting because the entire world has been stripped back i feel in terms of um, and we're really talking to people who are like being forced to stay at home, like God bless all of the amazing people that are still working and are, are our doctors and our nurses, they're doing an incredible job. We're talking about the people that have actually been forced to slow down. And in this moment, in this collective time, nobody cares what car you drive. Nope. Nobody cares really like about the material things. Nobody's talking about that. We're not even using those material things. We're not driving those cars. We're not going to work. It's not about what, you know, whether you make this amount of money at this position at this job or not, because we're all experiencing the same thing. It's not about what race you are. It's not about what religion you are. It's not about what political party you, you uh, support. It is, we're all in this together. Right. And yeah. so we're being forced to come back to the root and the core of who we are and what actually matters. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I would love to give permission to anybody watching this to slow down because you have been given the gift of slowing down, even in, especially in the discomfort of slowing down. Mm -hmm. And if you could just take this opportunity and seize it to lean into slowing down, whether that's journaling more every day, I mean, um, meditating for longer, finding tools that inspire you, even being present gardening or whatever it is for you. Like you have that gift because I know so many people who go, God, I really wish I could just take a week off work or I really wish that um, I could just spend the day in bed or you know, all of these things that we say out loud and you've been given permission to actually do these things. And there will come a time where we emerge from this, mm -hmm. use this time wisely to go within and, and find your core values because at the root of who you are, you have always been worthy. You have always been good enough. And because we live in a very fast paced society, we're just adding these walls and these layers that tell us that we have to hit this button to, be, to feel that. We have to then do this to feel that. And it's mm -hmm. not true. All of that is kind of being melted away right now and taken away from us. So I think that's just such a gift in what we're experiencing right now.